just setting my intention for this time together to be as impactful for you as it hopefully will be for me as well. Um, okay, let's see if you guys can hear me. Hello, hello. Hello, everybody. Thank you so much for joining me today. <sighs> A little bit emotional about this call. Um, well, first of all, I dressed up for you all. <laughs> I have been so enjoying the summer weather. I've been like in my bikini all day, all day in the garden, all day in the backyard, doing my client card calls in my bikini. So I actually got out of my bikini about 10 minutes ago and got dressed. And I'm so grateful to be doing this in community. Hello. Um, I've really learned from my own heroine's journey, and if you heard the call, you know a little bit about what this is about. Um, but if you haven't, you know, just being in community and not having to go through all this growth and initiation and evolution alone. It is so good to do it together. So thank you for joining me today. And if you know who I am, um, you know a little bit about my journey. And if you don't, I'm Shakaya. I have a website, earthempress.com. And I really, my commitment has always been to, to grow and to be empowered. And that comes from a whole history of not feeling that way. And then to take my own growth and my own empowerment and hopefully inspire other women in the areas of natural health and beauty, um, feminine empowerment and receiving, sensual beauty, which I define as more how you feel even than how you look, but they're all very, very important to me and to my community. So welcome, welcome. Um, I've been so emotional about this. This has been something that's been on my heart for years and I did attempt to share about this um, several years ago actually April 23rd um, 2010 um, I put out a big note on Facebook you'll probably still be able to find that there and I started sharing with people what was happening with me and my family as a raw mom and how my diet was shifting because I was noticing some deficiencies in one of my sons and I put it out there to the community and for the most part was very very supported and very um, very much appreciated for the honesty and that was just actually before I opened my website Earth Empress and so all this time that I've had Earth Empress, I haven't really had to get into this controversy because I really felt like I had done it and so I sort of started on that premise. But over the years, as people have come to work with me, um, some of their comments always made me realize, is this the perception? Because I wouldn't want to give a false perception. So. I wanted to really set the record straight today on where I stand on the whole diet thing, veganism, raw foods, etc. And this has been a, a very big passion of mine for about 17 years now. And um, I want people to kind of know where I'm really coming from and why, because actually up until a few months ago, um, things hadn't changed much from that post eight years ago. But the last few months, I have had a few things happen. A little embarrassing to admit, um, difficult to say the least, but I'm going to share that because I think it's really important, the genesis of my journey of late that has really, really changed really really shifted a lot so welcome everybody thank you so much for joining me again and I'm just gonna dive 
dive right in. I've actually made a couple notes because when I did my heroine's journey call, I just did it totally off the cuff. And uh, it went awesome, but just in case I have, you know, my Facebook community um, who, some of you are new to me, you may not know a lot of things. I wanted to make sure that I covered um, the things that you might really most be asking when you're when you're hearing this. So I'm going to be looking at my notes sometimes. Hello, everybody. Um, so I have been really, really nervous about this, um, but I felt really, really guided to share this. I feel this is so important, and it may fly in the face of what you believe, what you thought I believed. Um, just, it, if I've described it as being like a love affair, that everything was so perfect, I thought. And then all of a sudden it feels like a betrayal where everything you thought you knew and everything you thought you felt and believed and were experiencing, um, suddenly it's not what you thought at all. And something really shift or perception on my end really shifted. Um, but something has happened to me and on one hand, I'm so nervous to share it because it's like, it's almost like the end of an era for me. But on the other hand, um, it's so good what's happening that if I can help even one woman who might be struggling, um, then that's what I'm here to do. And I have really been struggling. I have had a 30 odd year dilemma, health problem that has been so chronic, so acute, so debilitating, and has caused me and my family a lot of pain. And I wouldn't want anyone to go through that. If I can help anyone go through less suffering, I'm, I'm definitely all for that. So um, the, the problem, the dilemma, the lifelong issue that I've struggled with with my health I have recently, I don't want to use the word cured, um, maybe I'll say resolved, or at least I'll say I've really impacted it in a major way. And that's why I'm so excited to share this, because if you're suffering from what I've been suffering from, then this might really help you. And I'll tell you what that is in a minute. And also, I've noticed this is really crazy because it sounds so superficial and ridiculous, but my cellulite has almost all but gone. Like where, how, why? <laughs> not even exactly sure. Have not even been focused on that at all. And yet I've noticed, wow. Um, I think that's one of the reasons I've been wearing a bikini so much. I've never done that in my life. Um, my husband's loving it, by the way. But um, it's simply because my legs have never looked better. So on the one hand, I've had this debilitating health issue. On the other hand, my cellulite has cleared up and almost everything in between I'm noticing is improving for me. Um, I've really had a long struggle with some of these things. So this is amazing. And I'm not here to sell anything. I'm not promoting anything. I'm really simply sharing which has been my commitment since I started my site, Earth Empress, to really share my experience as honestly and authentically as I can. And if it impacts another in a positive way, then that just makes me super happy. So thank you so much for being here and for checking this out. And I really do trust that you're going to receive exactly what it is you require right now, which is why you t tuned in. So, um, just to make sure that I am on track here, um, I do want to share about what that 35 year journey has been where I've been so, so struggling. My mental health, my physical health in a major way, and that I have shared about on certain blogs of mine and podcasts and interviews, but in case you're new to me, I'll just get you up to speed really fast. And that has been insomnia. I have had the most chronic and acute insomnia every night of my life since I was around 17. 
My mom died suddenly of a heart attack when I was 16, lived on the streets for a little while, just had a really rough time. She was a single mom and I was alone and struggling and probably just the trauma and the shock of it all, it was all very sudden. Um, I just became someone who couldn't sleep. Well, I was living in the park for a while, so I had to kind of keep one eye open on the park bench at night. Uh, maybe that's what started it, I don't know but um, just could not fall asleep for, for all these years. I would get about 10 hours of sleep in a week, which is obviously pretty low, not enough. And I turned to the high raw vegan diet about 16, 17 years ago now. To, it was twofold. One, it was to see if it would impact my, my sleep issue and my health, because I really was struggling. I wasn't very healthy, it was very, um, always getting flus and colds and um, my immune system was just tapped out all the time as you can imagine but also I had really young children and I really wanted to give them the best start in life so from everything I'd heard and read I just was so so grateful and happy that I'd found this new way of eating and I, of course, you know, worked very hard to convert my Italian husband and my family and um, even myself because I had a lot of food issues. I was growing up on craft dinner and um, beefaroni, like just packaged foods basically. Part of the reason probably why I wasn't that healthy. And But I was, I was really broke, so you just do what you have to do to survive. I had been in survival mode for a long time and when I was finally married and with children and more secure and then I, I come to this diet it was like wow how come everyone doesn't know about this and so I started you know making recipes feeding myself and my family and things just got better and better and better for me I noticed and that just continued. Um, well, I wasn't vegan at first, I was just raw. And then I started to, you know, as I was listening to more and more people on YouTube and just people in the community realizing, oh, it's not just raw foods, it's also vegan. I was like, hmm. Well, I had been a vegetarian since I was 13, so it wasn't a really big leap for me, um, although, it is a big consideration because those few little foods, whether it was eggs or fish from time to time, I felt they were, you know, really, really important. But all of a sudden I was willing to let those go because I really felt like, so the high raw, the raw diet is working for me. Let's, you know, go all the way with it and go raw vegan. And so of course I was feeding my family this way as well. And after about a year of being really, really strict on it, I noticed one of my sons had some issues that I've gone into detail about. Nothing serious, just pain in his legs and itchy skin. And, you know, he seemed really underweight. So I just asked around the community and everyone just said, you know, it's just detox, just keep going, push through it. When you're dealing with, you know, a five-year-old, I don't know. I don't know if that's really the wisest advice. Um, but I did. I really was so, I just so believing and so wanting this to work. But he just got worse and worse. So I think it was Shazzy at first and then David Wolf actually. I mean, I'd asked everyone, everyone that you know. Um, and everyone just said, keep going, you're fine. He should be getting everything he needs on the vegan diet. But it was Shazzy and then David Wolf who said, try some raw milk. And so within a few days or a week or so, that condition completely cleared up. He was looking and feeling better than ever. And 